the sword of the archangel and the archaei of the fifth ray does descend. And a mighty descent it is, beloved hearts, clear through all of the planes of the earth body, all of the planes of the matter universe, for we are servants not alone of the evolutions of this planet. Therefore rejoice, ye holy ones of God, and know that we of the fifth ray Therefore, precipitate into manifestation that which is the mighty and powerful action of those archangels and archaei of the first four rays. Know then how needed is the recording of your emerald ray, fifth ray decrees and songs, for with that ray, all that has come before is precipitated into the very physical octave. Rejoice in this, beloved. Rejoice in that you have the point of anchoring. Through Sanctissima release to you, it is indeed a chalice into which the heavenly hosts pour their light unceasingly, and it is a chalice wherein you also pour the light and devotion of your hearts, which reaches all of the archangels, some you know and some are yet who are yet unnamed to you. Therefore, know that that point of precipitation through the balanced threefold flame and the action of the mother light gone before can be truly for the healing of the body of the planet and her evolutions. Blessed hearts, our treasures of light, be seated in our love. This is a day of great rejoicing across all the heavens, for the great marriage is come, and the marriage is repeated again and again, and a single marriage performed this day in heaven is a glorious occasion for all hosts of the Lord. And I do not speak of any outer marriage, beloved ones, so consecrated before this and all altars of the world. I speak of the marriage of the soul, of a single soul to God, to the mighty archangels. Therefore you shall know that in the earth is a stronger tie to the great God government of the spheres and of the God star Sirius. And therefore you shall know, O ye brides, O ye virgins, that you are also in line, and your day will also come, and you will know what it means to be fully God in manifestation. For there is a wedding and a bonding to the Christ self, and then there is a wedding and a bonding to the I am that I am. Yes, beloved hearts, when this does come to an individual on earth, Therefore, the worlds change, the equation does change, and you who desire to stop the coming down of the woes prophesied and delivered by the four horsemen, you ought to know that the single greatest gift you can give to the universe is the bonding of your heart, your living marriage to Jesus Christ, to your holy Christ self, walking the earth as a Christ did one with that bonding that can never be undone. Therefore know that when you set your sight upon that goal, you will deal with all of the forces of darkness that have ever assailed or invaded your temple, beloved ones. Therefore go in the way of the healing waters, go in the way of the healing matrix, go for the healing thought form, Go for bringing yourself into alignment and listen again and again 
to the mother's teachings on those saints who did become the brides of Jesus. Let this be your longing, your yearning, your overpowering reason for being, not because of the blessing you will receive, but because of the stabilization of planet Earth that will take place and that does increase each and every time, beloved ones, a single soul is bonded to her Lord. O oh, beloved ones, know the sweetness of our Jesus. Know his sweetness, his oneness, his presence. How can we forget, we who were there as above, so below? We, yes, are in the service of the living Christ of the living Buddha and every son and daughter of God. Therefore, we bring the impetus for your precipitation of your holy Christ self into this octave. Our angels are also the mending angels. Therefore, they have come, a certain among them with needle and thread, green thread, a certain among them, angels of music, another sector, angels of science, of chemistry, of alchemy, angels of precipitation in every field and area of endeavor. Yes, beloved hearts, we come. And while this service is being rendered, the greatest service of all shall be rendered by us through the immaculate heart of my beloved Mary, through my own heart, which is its counterpart. Therefore, in this moment, sing then so sweetly, as sweetly as you have ever sung to God, the introit to your holy Christ flame and your holy Christ self. Let this be that we might seal you as effectively as the bonding can occur in your present state and set the matrix and set the circumstance for you whereby you can continue to pursue this holy event, truly your marriage to Christ. Number 29. Please remain seated in profound meditation upon your Holy Christ Self and Holy Christ Flame. Give your prayers. Thank you. 
the threefold flame is your immortel. Water it with devotion, invigorate it with a life-giving essence from the base to the crown chakras. Let it be balanced by a sound mind and endearing heart, a firm will resolute in the honor of God. Your threefold flame is your cosmic honor flame. By this flame balanced and blazing brightly, you may pronounce your marriage vows to your holy Christ self. Without this flame, beloved, you have no bridal bouquet. You have not the acceptable offering to bring to God's altar. Therefore we say, love intelligently, love powerfully, expand wisdom by love and the will of God made practical. Use the power and the will and the determination of God to hold steady your love in the plane of the spirit and the level of the Christ. Use that thrust and that momentum that your wisdom might cover the earth and take dominion in the earth. So be the Trinity and that Trinity supported by, actualized by, made manifest by the Divine Mother, the Word in the beginning with Brahman. In your heart, is all you need, O oh, beloved. And if perchance you think you may have lost that flame along the way, now is the hour to be on your knees and to call to God and to the Lord Christ to come to you to reignite that flame. Do not be sorrowful in this plight, beloved ones, for in the heart of your holy Christ self there is a threefold flame. And as long as you have life in this embodiment, you can serve and serve from your waking unto your sleeping. You can serve God and serve the light and serve the Trinity and the Mother and serve their children until the hour when surely the mighty light does turn and serve you and that flame is reignited and you feel the breath of the Mahajohan and you know you have come to your second birth in this life, the birth in the spirit. Therefore, let none despair, let none succumb to depression, let none allow the gaze to be lower than the love of the bridegroom. Visualize yourself in the grandest cathedral of the etheric octave, a cathedral that can hold millions. See your holy Christ self at the altar and you at the rear door looking all the way down the aisle look at your holy christ self and count the steps until you shall be in the arms of your beloved so the wedding day shall come for you also and the bells shall ring and the angels will sing and you shall find yourselves permanently in the sacred heart of Jesus. So, beloved, rejoice that you are brides in preparation for the assimilation by your bridegroom. We tend your coming and your going daily to keep the way of the tree of life within you until ye are able, that mighty tree of life is the matrix of your holy Christ self.
as you have fallen on the fifth ray by misappropriation, miscreation, and misprecipitation, so now you shall be redeemed and you shall redeem yourselves by the application of the law of the fifth ray unto your restoration to God. We are your helpers. We, the Archangels of the Sixth Ray, Uriel, Aurora, summon the legions of light who bring the judgment of the Lord Christ, the Lord Buddha, the Lord Krishna, the Lord Sanat Kumara, the Lord God in ye all, to the physical octave. Therefore, you serve, you serve, you serve, and where there is injustice in life, we come dividing the way on behalf of the servants of God in bringing the judgment upon the seed of the wicked who have had, I tell you, beloved ones, more mercy than you will ever be able to conceive of from the heart of God. When you consider sympathizing with the criminal element, with those who abuse life and do so repeatedly, lifetime after lifetime, those who mentally contort the wisdom of God, distort it, and use a false logic, whereby they affirm that the ends justify the means, etc., those who pervert the chakras and twist and try the very patience of the saints, blessed ones, do not have that sympathy, for I tell you, they have had the mercy of God, eon upon eon upon eon, and I tell you, there have been more ascended masters, lady masters, and gods and goddesses made by their extension of mercy to the fallen ones than in any other way. Therefore, the hour of justice is come. Therefore, increase and intensify your service. Do not recreate ties with those who are on the left-handed path, no matter what your sympathy, no matter what you think your loyalties are. We are here to tell you that your loyalties are to God and God alone, and not one ounce, one fraction of an ounce of your energy must go in sympathy to those individuals who have turned their back on the altar of God, who have turned love into anger and all of the Martian misqualifications. Beloved ones, beware, for when you reach this point on the path of this level of opportunity, it is not, it is not, we say, your option to make the judgment to give God's light to those who have shown themselves non-servants of the light for eons. Therefore, Alpha did come, and he did tell you that it is lawful for you to pray for the light bearers of the world and to invoke dispensations in their behalf. But he did not tell you that you could invoke the light for those who misuse the light. Beware then, beloved ones, for if you give the light to the dark ones, the light will be turned off in you for God will not allow it to flow through you to the fallen ones. 
Therefore, have mercy upon the children of God who are being abused daily, who are not being taught as they should be taught or loved or given the true and profound understanding that the divine parents would give them. Be merciful to one another. Bind up one another's wounds of the psyche and the heart and of the chakras and serve together as though your life depended on it and planet Earth depended on it of your being this one inseparable, indissoluble union of a body of light bearers that will hold against the force of Antichrist until when the word is pronounced, no one will even remember who or what was Antichrist. speak to you fallen ones throughout this matter cosmos your names will not be remembered you will have no names recorded or left i uriel summon all hosts of the lord for your judgment this day as a ratification by the seven archangels of the judgment of alpha upon those who have misused the justice of God. Therefore we come, therefore the light of the sword does extend through the matter cosmos. Therefore, beloved ones, know this day that all have been served notice. The fallen ones know of you, you know of them. The line is drawn, take heed, call upon the name Uriel Archangel and Aurora and no beloved ones that we are the appointees of the Lord God for the execution of judgment in all of the matter spheres you have the calls we are we have given to you use them in connection with your calls to Helios and Asta for the full manifestation of the binding of the dweller on the threshold of the force of Antichrist anti-Buddha, anti-mother, anti-father, and anti-Holy Spirit, and anti-child. Yes, beloved hearts, use them, for we stand in the heart of the son of Helios and Vesta, and when your calls go forth, they sweep through the matter cosmos, and many worlds are cleared, for the science of the spoken word is the ultimate power that can manifest at this level of your evolution for the victory of worlds. Thank God that you have received it. Thank God that you understand it, for many have been delivered. I seal you in the sixth ray. Purple, gold, ruby flex, I seal you in the justice of God. Therefore, be just and let the word of divine justice and human justice go forth from you, beloved ones, and not a word of judgment or condemnation or criticism. Therefore, invoke your beloved Portia, great one of the Aquarian age, blessed goddess of opportunity. Allow her then to raise you up in the flame of God justice and be those pillars of justice in the land, taking the side of the poor, the oppressed, the helpless, the homeless who have none to champion their cause, save politicians who would make a name for themselves and use them rather than support them. Blessed hearts, Uriel is an angel who will do absolutely everything you call upon him to do. I am that one who listens day and night. Sometimes I must recline in a space where I wait 
for someone to make the call for the binding of the horrendous injustices upon this planet. I tell you, it is an absolute defamation of the living God and the living Jesus Christ, Gautama Buddha, and all whom I serve, that these injustices go unchecked in the courts of the world. Therefore, I tell you, there is a higher court, and matters are adjudicated swiftly and finally, and the karma does descend. Therefore, be healed of any sense of injustice about anything in you, outside of you, or in the land, or in the world. Simply invoke the lords of karma, and remember, Uriel is waiting to be called into action. I am here, I am smiling, for I have found my troops. You are it, beloved ones. You are they, you are we, you are all of us. We are going forward together in divine justice. Get the closer we get to the seventh ray. Here we are, Sergio and Holy and the Fifth. Ho, 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 here we are. Ho, 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 here we are. Ho, 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 here we are. Thrust home, I say. Thrust home to the heart of every heart in the universe. For the violet flame will purify our hearts. It will make of your heart a purple, fiery heart. It will dissolve the hearts of the wicked, else dissolve their wickedness, whereby they may become per converted, beloved ones. And if they are not converted, they will be perverted forevermore and bound and taken to the court of the sacred fire. Therefore, hear the word of Saint Germain and Portia, said Kill and Holy Amethyst, Arcturus and Victoria. Hear the word, hear the word, hear the word, for the violet flame is able. The violet flame does support all of the archangels and all of the archangels and angels of the universe and all elemental life and all light bearers of the world. Let's get it rolling, beloved ones, and rolling and rolling and rolling. I am a being of violet fire, I am a purity god. I am a being of violet fire, I am a purity god. I am a being of violet fire, I am a purity god. I am a being of violet fire, I am a being of violet fire, I am a purity god. I am a being of violet fire, I am a purity god. So, beloved ones, be seated in your violet flame seats. <laughs> For we have determined that you will know the violet flame, that you will know what has touched you during this conference, all the flames and the full power of transmutations ray, and that you will make it your flame, your day, your night, 
your cosmic honor to invoke this flame, to pass it through every problem, to stand at that point before your altar where you can turn 360 degrees, holding your sword of Archangel Michael and direct it 360 degrees and send forth a violet flame. Do you realize that when you should make that turn, such as this, beloved ones, and when you should do it, bringing the sword down every so many degrees that you are sending, if you make the call, the full power of violet flames ray to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. And when you stand before the altar of your mighty I Am Presence and you connect with those mighty light rays, going forth from the great central sun. It is a second sun replicating those mighty light rays. And therefore you see, beloved ones, wherever you have made karma in the matter cosmos, if you do this turning once a day, so you will have sent the violet flame into the cause and core of that condition where there is any person, any life stream in all of the matter cosmos out from that center and going forth from you spherically as many cosmic rays in all directions from your heart. You are therefore balancing the karma that you have made on that line the scars of your karma with which you have scarred the matter cosmos may not disappear all at once. Therefore, you pursue this ritual daily. You can say the matter cosmos is a cosmos of violet flame. You can say any of the mantras you desire, but beloved ones, it is a glorious joy to know when you have fulfilled this life that you have no ties of a negative nature to anyone in the matter cosmos, but only millions of positive ties to individuals upon earth, yet moving toward the sun of their presence. And these individuals, by reason of having received the violet flame that you have invoked, now owe you some karma and therefore you may call upon them, you may work through them, you may ask them to receive you, perhaps to write books that you would dictate, or write music that you would direct, all sorts of things that ascended masters like to bring into manifestation once they are ascended, and of course can be heard or seen by scarcely anyone. The violet flame will do for you what you do not know until you offer it. And do you know what? I am not going to tell you today what the violet flame can and will do for you if you take a hold of it and with the same fire with which this messenger delivers to you the word of God. You invoke it, you love it, you call to it, you draw it forth, because all of your desiring is to make that violet flame physical, just as all of the desiring of this messenger is to make our presence to you physical. Do you understand, beloved one, that it is the receptacle of the messenger that allows us to deliver such intensity by our intense love of our hearts and of God Almighty. Appreciate this, beloved ones, and be your own messenger of your own Holy Christ self and deliver to the earth your dictations of steady streams of violet flame and violet flame decrees. <laughs> How 
how we love you, how we love you. We pray you would know and feel that love as intensely as we give it and as intensely as it is felt in the heart of the messenger. Oh, that love, beloved, should you receive an ounce of it or more, would surely be for you the resolution of all separation from God. Oh, give unto us the legions of the violet flame, the goddess of freedom, Saint Germain and Portia, the mighty one, the great divine director, all elemental life. Oh, yes, beloved ones, give unto the seventh ray Buddhas and Bodhisattvas an opportunity. Let us make it 40 days. Beloved ones, give yourself 40 days of saturation of the violet flame into those nooks and crannies and places and painful spots and sores and hurts and limitations, problems with the health of your children, loved ones. Give yourself the 40 days and the 40 nights of the reign of the violet flame. Trade it, beloved, for some future cataclysm that could come upon the earth. Give 40 days of violet flame. Pick the time, beloved, but do something every day and keep to that something that we might hear you and have the response returned to all of those who have spoken at this conference. Blessed hearts, see what you can do with planet Earth and yourself with a violet flame. See what questions will be answered and see the sublime level of the seventh ray that you may rise to. And wouldn't you know, you might just find that you will be able to hold that level, sustain it, and thereby catapult that soul up into that secret chamber of the heart, just as you desire. We are the ones of the sealing, therefore we seal you, seal you in the light of the seven archangels, seal you in the heart of hearts of your beloved Lanello, who comes to have a chat with you now. So in the name of Almighty God, of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we seal our proclamations, our dispensations, our love, wisdom, and power, our honor, and our centeredness in the heart of the mother, that you might be fruitful and multiply and magnify the Lord in the earth. We are yours. And we pray that you will always be ours. <laughs>